Obviously, the real toll is when you have scorched earth, burned property, and that's not to mention if anybody gets hurt in one of these fires. This is what's left after one fire that firefighters say was caused by fireworks. Just one fire call in the valley on a night where the calls came nonstop. Gardening is my soul. It was greenery. There were little trees here. And now, nothing. Charred ground. I'm a little bit upset about that. Pat Rogers woke up. This whole thing was burning. As fire crews were fighting against time and flames. And I was just wandering around the yard wondering what I could do. The culprit. They were using fireworks in a prohibited area. A group of seven people, four who ran off, leaving this behind. Just one small firecracker, one small spark started this fire that could have potentially burned homes down. For fire crews, it was only part of an intense day. July 4th is the busiest night of the year. Salt Lake City Fire says it had extra firefighters roving for potential firework flare-ups. But it seems like July 4th, we're pretty steady throughout the night. The rest of the county, a similar story. Dispatchers at the Salt Lake Valley Emergency Communications Center were slammed. Just the Monday before, only two calls about fireworks concerns, four more about outside fires. Independence Day, 93 fireworks calls, 66 more calls for outside fires. As for the city, we were able to, for the most part, get them extinguished fairly quickly. Firefighters say they had the resources to manage. I'm grateful for all the people that came and took care of this and took care of yeah. that. This neighbor says thanks while cautioning. People do not realize how dangerous fireworks are. She hopes people will see what's left of her once proud garden and remember. They were careless. Whatever happened, they were careless. And look what happened here. All the, all the things are burned down. If an ounce of prevention equals a pound of cure, here's a gallon of water for you. Firefighters say much better to pour water in a bucket, stick spent fireworks in, and then let them soak there for 12 hours, rather than simply putting them in the garbage in the first place. That way, they don't start fires after the fact. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Adams, KSL 5 News. Andrew, thank